you through yet, Pa? Almost. Just one more nail, Cubby. There. I'll close it. Now it's the safest storehouse in the world! Don't forget, <laughs> you mustn't tell anyone about it. Don't worry, Pa. I won't breathe a word to anyone. And with our special secret door, no one will ever be able to get in. Yoo-hee! <laughs> are a very encouraging sound for a thief. <laughs> What's this secret door? Cub making fun of you down at the fishing hole. I went to raid their warehouse last night and got hit over the head by a ghost. Yeah, right. There's no such thing as ghosts. The stick I got hit with was real Don't enough. Don't be stupid. <laughs> you just walked into a trap. That's all. Well, if it's a trap, I'll just have to figure it out. Uh, yeah, I got a reputation to uphold after all. <laughs> Listen, Lopez, I got an idea. So talk. I noticed that little bear cub is quite a chatterbox. Now get this. He has no reason to suspect me. I'll get him to talk and find out what kind of trap he has in that storehouse. <laughs> Excellent. Splendid. As soon as we find out the secret, all my provisions will disappear like magic. <laughs> I think I hear him coming down the road now. Here I go. I've got fish for breakfast, fish for tea. I've got fish for supper, fish <laughs> for me. <laughs> Morning, eh, youngster. Feel like making a swap? Eh? What you got? Quite the little businessman, aren't you? <laughs> you get right to the point. I come from far away, and I bring rare and precious fruit with me. Rare fruit? <laughs> Who are you kidding? I want to see it before we swap anything. Of course, little pal. Never buy a pig in a poke. Honest white for honest white. That's what my sainted granny used to tell me, and always, always cut the cards. Now, to show you my heart's in the right place, try one free of charge. <laughs> Thank you. <sniffs> Smells delicious. I like it. I'll take all you have, and here's my fish in exchange. <laughs> One skinny minnow like this in exchange for a whole basket of fabulous fruit? No way! Hm. That's not a skinny minnow, that's a good fish! Sorry, kid. I need tons of fish in exchange for this fruit, and you ain't got it. 
<laughs> I certainly do. And what's more, they're well protected by a mechanical club. <gasps> It's the trip. I meant to say I might have more, but I need to check. How much fruit do you have, sir? That depends. I'd have to see how many trees are ripe right now. Okay. Thank goodness he didn't catch on. I gotta make sure he doesn't suspect anything. Well, I'm off to check my plantation. It'll take several days to get there and back. See you later, kid. Ah, I'm glad you're back, Cubby. Now look, I want you to go straight into the house and stay there. Don't come out for any reason. Lock all the doors. I'll be back late. All right, Pa. <laughs> you did it. Surprise! <laughs> if it isn't our little chatterbox. Well, since you like to talk so much, we better fix it up so you can yag all you want. But no one can hear you. Now, just put this in your mouth. <laughs> Let's get going! So long, Big Mouth! from over there. What happened, son? Who did this to you? The wolf and the crow did it. Stop! <gasps> Stop, I say! <laughs> Evil vermin! Son, we got all our provisions back. It's all my fault. I couldn't keep my big mouth shut. Hmm? You told the secret of our storehouse? Son, you've got to realize the world is full of no goods. You've got to be very careful of what you say and never reveal a secret. You're right, Pa. I deserve to be punished. No, no, no punishment. The important thing for you is to learn a lesson from what happened. Oh, I have, Pa. Honest. From now on, I'll be very careful about what I say. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it, son. Ah, looks like a good job, Cubby. I hope so. No thief will ever get in through there. You could say that again. <laughs> 